While the Graf Zeppelin's passenger cabin was luxurious, it was unheated. And when the Zeppelin flew to North America over the North Atlantic, passengers had to stay wrapped up in fur coats or heavy blankets to stay warm. Lady Grace Hay Drummond Hay, who we'll return to in a future episode because of her connection to Zeppelin travel, had this to say about the heating conditions aboard the Graf Zeppelin. We have a million cubic feet of gas, but no heat. I have visualized myself gracefully draped over a saloon window ledge, romantically viewing the moonlit sky. The men have reminded each other not to forget evening jackets and boiled shirts in their baggage. We have drawn ourselves lovely pictures of dining elegantly in midair with Commodore Eckner at the head of the flower deck table, but leather coats, woolies, and furs will be our evening dress. Hot soup and steaming stew more welcome than cold caviar and chicken salad. <laughs>